Hello, my name is Gary Davis. I'm with Autodesk Media and Entertainment, and once again, I'm at the Box booth uh, at Autodesk University this year. Uh, once again. And what we've got is a couple of different machines and we're setting up doing both GPU and CPU rendering. And we're specifically using uh, 3ds Max 2014 today and we're doing a hybrid workflow with both iRay and Mental Ray rendering engines. iRay being a GPU based rendering engine and Mental Ray being CPU based rendering engine. So what I've got set up here is 3ds Max loaded up with a pretty typical uh, design viz scene. Uh, this is an Evermotion scene. We'd like to thank them for the use of it. And the way that I've set this up is with the iRay rendering engine. And, I've, oops, and I'm going to be fighting some audio behind me, but you'll bear with me. And what I've got right in here, you can see that I've identified multiple GPUs for iRay to use. And if you just look right over here, this is a very special machine. This is the new 4920 Extreme GPU Edition box workstation. And it's obviously, as you can see right now, it's set up with a lot of different hardware for GPU-based rendering. So these are, uh, refer to my cheat sheet here, these are two Quadro K6000 cards and also two K40 Tesla cards. Each one of these video cards has 12 gigs of memory on it. And that's gonna be very important for iRay rendering because what that allows me to do is have up to four GPUs in this machine, as you can see right here. And I've set this machine, this GPU up to actually be working for me as I interact with my scene. So if you see, as I interact with this scene in the viewport, my single GPU starts to work and actually, you know, do what I'm asking it. Well, these th other three GPUs I've assigned to iRay, and what I can do is activate a window called Active Shade. Now, when I bring up Active Shade, this is a viewport, and what's happening right now is 3ds Max is loading the scene onto the video card and all of the textures. So all that memory of those 12 uh, gig graphics cards is going to be really critical. And as soon as this is now loaded up on the video card, you'll see over here that we have all three of these GPUs that are pegged out to 100%. So we've got a real-time viewport rendering, and we've got a, we're leaving one of the video cards to actually continue to work for me. And I can continue to do changes like manipulate my scene, and I'm doing that on the, the single quadro. And as soon as I release my mouse, this, the active shade viewport is this constantly real-time rendered view. Now, camera changes are one uh, thing that I can do, but I can also do material editing changes. So instead of doing all these test renders over and over and over, I can come into here and I'm using, uh, oops, let me point out one more thing. I'm using the Argent Design shader, and that's gonna be an important aspect to the next bit I'll talk about. But within any of these shaders that you're using that are compatible with iRay, I can change things like the material, and I'll just make a real drastic change to this floor and make it like a really bright green. And if I, as soon as I click OK, those changes are going to be cached onto the video card, and you can see those changes right in real time in the viewport. And again, I'm not doing any test renders over and over and over. I'm doing all this, and what's happening is I'm using this machine. It's a single processor machine, but it's got space for all the GPUs. So that's the focus of this machine that I'm on right here is very much emphasizing man hours in front of the computer for, for, to save me time of you know, all those test renders. Meanwhile, and now we move over to our CPU rendering, what I can do is I can exit out of Max, or I'll just minimize Max, and what we've got here is one desktop right here and a second desktop over here of two render pros. Now these, to be clear of what we're talking about, I'm sitting on one machine, but I've used this application right here called BoxView. Now Box has their own technology that allows you to connect to your render farm, and I can do that by IP address, and I can see all my different machines and everything through my standard workstation, uh, inter, you know, desktop. And what I can then do is see all of these different views. And we'll just focus on this one over here for a second. Now in this machine, it doesn't have any fancy Quadros or Teslas for GPU rendering, but you'll notice here that I've got 100% of 40 cores being used in this Render Pro. And this is Metal Ray being rendered, and I'm using Motion Blur, I'm using uh, Vector Displacement Maps, I'm, you know, I'm throwing in the whole kitchen sink at this render. And these HD frames are taking a minute and a half full, uh, sorry, 720p HD frames rendering in a minute and a half because of these 40 cores. So that's kind of the emphasis around using iRay and Metal Ray in a hybrid pipeline, uh, both GPU and CPU rendering. As long as you're maintaining a pipeline around that arch and design shader, you're going to be able to use both GPU and CPUs and uh, kind of flip-flop between these rendering engines. So once again, I'm Gary Davis with Autodesk Media Entertainment. And once again, I'm playing here at the Box booth uh, at Autodesk University. Thanks.